everyone and welcome back to my channel. I had lots of complaints last week that Cinderella wasn't in the video at the beginning. So here she is. I'm getting lots of messages from people saying that she's grown and I kindly ask for them to stop because they seriously, seriously upset me. I forbid her to grow, um, but she's ignoring me. So guys, welcome to my spring fashion edit 2022. I am so beyond excited for this week. I feel like I've never needed spring more than I need it right now. Oh, I just feel like the past two years we haven't been able to fully just embrace and enjoy spring until now. And I'm just like on top of the world, I'm wearing my new dress. If you don't know where it's from, you are very naughty. You clearly did not watch last week's video, so I'm not gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you to go and watch last week's video because there is also a 20% off code for this dress that you can use until the end of March. So you have a few days left to use it. So if any of you guys are kind of new here and don't know what's going on, basically this week I will be posting a high street haul from Monday to Friday to celebrate the new fashion season. I do this every spring and every autumn, but we all know spring the best one. And I always do a very quick disclaimer, which I think gets quicker and quicker every year because I get so bored of saying it. But basically, I just want you guys to know that I'm not encouraging you to buy clothes in huge excess when I do these hauls. I'm basically giving you my top picks from all of like the top high street brands to save you guys time shopping, scrolling. Honestly, who has the time? I do because it's my job but I don't know how anyone else does. It's really, really time consuming. So basically I have done all the hard work for you. I've scrolled through all of the brands, found the best bits in my opinion, and today we're going to be trying them on and I will link everything I show in today's video down below in the description box. So as per tradition, we are starting off the week with Zara. It's usually my favorite haul to do. Can I just say guys, who agrees that a Zara box is a thing of beauty? If anyone is new here today, please, please do subscribe. It's really, really fun. And without further ado, let's try on some Zara outfits. Oh my gosh, guys, start with a bang. Why don't we? I love this so much. This is literally, this is perfection. I mean, it's nearly perfection. It's very short, isn't it? It's short for me, um, but the good thing is it's actually short. It's not a skirt. Um, so although it's like super duper short, um, you don't feel like, I don't know, it doesn't feel as bad almost when it's short, but I just love this co-ord so much. It was like the first thing that was packed in the box. And when I saw the colors and the pink, I was just like. So it's a little two piece co-ord as you can see, and it's just so much fun. I absolutely love it. Um, I just really love the colors and the gold buttons. They look really luxe. And I just really actually love the little skirt. It's so comfortable and it's weird because it doesn't look like it would be comfortable. It's very like tight fitting and short. Um, but actually it is super comfy probably because it is short. It's like nice fabric, it's not itchy. Um, I'm honestly in love with this. It's so much fun. I kind of just wish it was a little bit longer, but then again, I am tall. So I feel like for some of you guys that are shorter than me, I'm five foot eight, um, it probably would be okay. And then underneath, I just popped on this really actually adorable little knitted tank top. Um, which I really like, it's high neck and it's a really lovely like chunky knit, which I think is nice for spring because especially in the UK, like it's not always hot. So something like a cute little layer like this with this look um, actually works really, really well. I actually think I'm definitely gonna keep this knitted top because it's just such a good staple. Um, and I just love wearing this kind of thing um, and it will just go with like endless bottoms. But yeah, guys, I love this outfit. It's so much fun. Will it go with my new bag? I actually just got sent the new Coach Pillow Madison bag. They sent it to me as a gift and oh my gosh, it is so much fun. I don't really have a bag like this and I'm obsessed and it looks really cute with this look. Um, so yes, guys, definitely a 10 out of 10 start. Let's hope the rest of the haul goes this well. Oh my goodness, guys, I am obsessed with this. This, I'm definitely keeping this. This is literally amazing. I, what do I look like, guys? Do I look like I'm in Thunderbirds? Or I kind of, I either look like a little 1960s, like sailor girl, or I look like I'm going to space. I can't quite figure out what the vibe is. I just know that it's a vibe and I, Love it. It just looks so retro. Honestly, this looks even better like on in the flesh than it did on the website. I, oh my God, I just love this high neck. What does it look like guys? It could also look like a uniform, like a, do a surgeon's uniform or something. I just feel like it could be so many things. Um, but I just think it's so, so cool. It's so different. Imagine this 
with my white knee high boots. I actually can't, I can't. There's just something so um, unique about this and it's so simple and plain but it just stands out a mile. I also love how it's a play suit. So it's really, really comfortable and I just love play suits or skorts, like things that have shorts underneath but are disguised as dresses because you do just feel more secure in like shorts than you do when you're just kind of like flying free. Um, I don't know if it's just me like being in London, like walking upstairs and I always feel like I have to like push my dress down in case someone behind me is looking of my skirt but you just feel so much better and like carefree in a play suit it actually kind of reminds me of greece in beauty school dropout when they're like the angels and they're like la 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 my voice isn't up to its usual standard today guys um i'm sorry about that i'm feeling a bit congested guys i'm what can i say i'm just I'm just sorry for putting you in this situation. I feel it too. Like I can't keep everything in these videos and everything I try on. I'm just like, OMG, it's amazing. Look at this. This is literally perfection. Every single detail on this is perfect. First of all, just the gorgeous floral pattern. It's just everything that we've been waiting for for spring, summer. Like it's so, so pretty. It's colorful, but it's also muted, um, which is kind of like, I think my thing this year. I want to go for like a little bit more color, but always like keep it muted and not too bright. Um, and this is so perfect. I love that it's a co-ord and not a dress. Um, it's almost a dress. It's not like a full on crop top, but you do kind of get a little flash of skin, which I think just makes it look more stylish. Um, and the fabric is actually really nice. The skirt is lined. The top even has a boning in to give it that kind of like corset structured feel. So I feel like Zara kind of decided to spend a little bit more money on making this look really nice where they could have cut more corners and just sold something that was like not great quality. This is actually really nice, so it really pleases me. There's just so many lovely details, like the peplum hem on the skirt. It's also got this kind of like lace-up detail on the side. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see on camera, but you can just click the link um, and see it on the picture. And then the top has these absolutely beautiful, like subtle puff sleeves. They're not exaggerated or statement, but they're really on trend and so feminine and fun. And then you've got that beautiful sweetheart neckline as well on the top. Literally the whole thing is just perfect and it fits so, so nicely. Um, if anyone's wondering, I bought a small in the top and the skirt. And oh my gosh, I'm just imagining this with like some little sandals, like the ones I showed in my video last week. And also just a cute little bag, like maybe a straw raffia one or something like that. Oh my God, it's literally perfection. Um, I could really do without this, guys. How long have we been doing this? Five years and every single Zara haul, I'm like, I need everything. I should know better by now and just stop. <laughs> Okay guys, I thought just for balance, I'd bring the tone down just a notch um, because let's be honest, we need it. There are far too many cute outfits in this video. Um, I'm slightly disappointed by this dress. Okay, the shape and basically the dress itself, I'm literally obsessed. Like, I just wish it was not bright, bright pink. I feel like it didn't look this bright um, on the website and actually even on my camera, um, it's looking a little bit lighter I think than it does in real life. Um, it's very like fuchsia pink, which is not a shade of pink that I like at all. Um, I knew it was like kind of bright, it wasn't exactly pale pale pink, but it is just a little bit more like bright and garish than I was expecting. And I just feel a bit disappointed because I honestly thought that I was going to be in love with this and in terms of like the shape and everything about it I actually am in love with it I think it's so so fun it's very retro 60s um it's actually like a knitted dress so again for this kind of like warm but not hot weather this is absolutely perfect um I love the high neck and the way that it's sleeveless and how it's like super fitted but nice and like flippy at the bottom for me this is like the perfect perfect casual day dress I don't really like to go too much more casual than this, um, but it's so relaxed, it's so like low effort, but it just looks incredibly stylish and super, super fun. Guys, what do you think about the color? Do I need to branch out into fuchsia? I've never done it before, but would this dress be worth making the exception for? I don't know, you guys let me know down below in the comments. <laughs> okay, the vibe is definitely back. It's changed slightly, 
but it's back because I love this. I feel like this is not going to be for everyone, um, but I think some of you will really love this, like me. Um, it's a little two-piece, like a white sort of cotton, um, maybe cotton slash linen two-piece with all of these really beautiful like crochet details. It's definitely giving me a more high-end vibe. I'm getting like Chloe, maybe even Zimmerman, just that really gorgeous like luxe boho look, which I love um, in spring summer, just with like the Chloe bag. Let me grab the Chloe bag. I was actually gonna try and avoid opening the bag can of worms in this video because I guess a little bit carried away, but sometimes you just need the accessory to like complete the look. Um, look at how amazing it looks with a Chloe Tess. It just totally makes the whole thing look like Chloe. And that's why I always say the power of your outfits is in your accessories because this is affordable. But if you have a luxurious bag, then the whole thing looks high end and designer. And I would just pop on like my brown leather June sliders, obviously, or perhaps the clogs from last week's video. Yes, you heard that correctly. I said the clogs from last week's video. Just go and watch, it will all make sense. But yeah guys, I'm actually loving this. It is giving a little bit of like a hippie cult vibe, um, a little bit rhythm of life, but I don't really mind. I think it's very chic and it's very classic. Um, I like how, this is like not a silhouette that I would normally go for, as you guys know. I'm normally like high waist short and then like a crop top where I'll try and accentuate my waist, but I'm kind of liking this silhouette. I feel like it's very demure, but it's not like old lady-ish because the shorts are like nice and short. So um, yeah, I really like it. I think it's a little bit different. I think, as I said, it looks much more expensive than it is and it's definitely like a fashion statement but it's actually really subtle and wearable. So next up guys, I obviously wanted to include a classic pretty little white spring dress. Um, and I had really high hopes for this guys, but I'm not gonna lie, where they really brought us everything and surprised us with some of the other pieces, I do actually feel quite let down by this dress. Um, it just fits very, very strangely. If I'm to wear it like up on my waist, it just makes the skirt section so, so short that it's just not only not very wearable, but it just looks odd. Maybe it's just not made um, for my body type, which is totally fair enough. Um, but it's not just that, like the sleeves are really, really short and I kind of like a short sleeve, um, but these just don't look quite right. And also it's not lined, um, so it is a little bit see-through. They decided to rip out the lining and save themselves a few pennies. Yeah, it could have been really pretty. It's got those lovely um, tears on the skirts, little tiered ruffles on the sleeves. Quite nice sleeves as well, that loose sort of fit that I like. Um, really pretty little button down detail and this lovely little brodery collar. So it has nice details, it's just not executed well. You can really tell though when they decide to cut corners on certain items, like this dress doesn't even have a zip. It has like a shirred back. So it's like stretchy when you put it on. It has a little bit of give, but it's not a horrible dress. And if it is cheap, then I'd be like, go for it. If you think it's going to be long enough for you. Otherwise I would give this dress a miss. Okay guys, luckily, because let's be honest, we need it. Um, another outfit I'm not a huge fan of. I feel really let down by the jeans. When I saw these, I was actually really excited because they look like, again, a really pretty, very pale baby pink color. Um, and I thought that they would be really cute, but they are like quite bright again, like the dress. And also they're like a straight jean because I get it, like skinny jeans are not like the thing anymore, unless we're tucking them into long boots, in which case like you need skinny jeans. But it's kind of hard because now it's like on the rare occasion I did wear jeans, now I just can't because this kind of thing I just think does not suit me at all. The top is really cute. It's very big. Um, I got this in a size small, but I thought that it was maybe a medium that I'd ordered by accident. So I'd say definitely like size down in the top. Um, but this is really pretty. It's just like a nice volume sleeve um, crop top with like a wrap over style with these cute little like diamondy buttons. Um, and it is really pretty. This is just like a classic staple um, in a nice kind of thin, airy cotton fabric. Like the fabric isn't amazing, but I feel like it doesn't really need to be for a top like this. And you can just wear this kind of top with literally so many bottoms, like jeans, skirts, shorts, long skirts, short skirts, anything. And something like this is always going to look classic and pretty. So a really good wardrobe staple. Um, really like the top, not keen on the bottoms, um, but altogether it's not a hideous look. Um, it's just not 
very me. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, my excitement is restored. This outfit is literally perfect. It actually looks like a dress, but it's a top and skirt that I paired together and I really, really love both. I especially love the top. I feel like the top is one of the nicest tops I've ever tried on. It's so, so pretty. The fabric is a bit weird, but I kind of like it. Um, I do think it feels like a little bit cheap. I'm not gonna lie, um, but the whole like design and cut of the top is so, so pretty. I love the sleeves, the way they're like really, really skinny and then they're just like volume around the upper arm and the shoulder. I think that's so cool. It's so princessy. It really reminds me of like Princess Aurora or Cinderella, like those old fashioned Disney um, princess dresses. Don't you think it's really giving that vibe? I love it so much, so feminine and pretty. Um, and then you've got this really gorgeous sweetheart necklace with like the ruching around the boobs. The top is literally amazing. It will just make anything you wear look like a Disney princess outfit. And honestly, ask Cinderella, what more could you want? Oh, look at this baby. Oh, you want to cuddle, don't you? And then I really like how the skirt is kind of a contrast, like it's a bit more trendy, a bit more maybe edgy, like with the cutout detail, a bit more like sexy. Um, and it's just a really nice skirt. It's so comfortable. I think it's so flattering, the fit. Um, I really love it and I love how the two look together. You guys know I just love like an all white look. Just imagine guys with the boots as well. I just think a pair of white knee high boots makes every outfit look 10 times better. So guys, the final outfit for today is another Zara classic, a little tweed boucle, slightly Chanel inspired two piece. Um, these don't actually go together, they're not a set, but I thought that they were similar enough that they did kind of go together and um, they're not perfect. The skirt, I'm just gonna say it, it comes up really, really small um, compared to all of the other bottoms. I got everything in like the same size. This is really small, so I would say like size up in this. I guess it's just the way that it's fitted. This is supposed to be like a really, really fitted skirt. But again, it's actually a skirt, and I just can't describe to you guys like how much nicer it feels to wear a skirt than a skirt. Um, the fabric is nice and thick. It feels like good quality. The only thing I would say is like the buttons, they don't like stand up nicely, which is a little bit annoying because the buttons themselves are really, really pretty. Uh, but a skirt like this, I just feel like we all, every girl needs one. And then the jacket is also adorable. It's very lightweight. So a good spring jacket, nice if you're gonna be layering it with like maybe a high neck top or the little knitted tank top from earlier. And um, because this is pretty lightweight, it's not really gonna keep you warm. It's definitely for fashion um, but I love like the cream I'm gonna say like ivory boucle um, and the little fringing on the pockets very very Chanel inspired and these really lovely big gold buttons and they're actually a champagne gold which is really pretty and I just feel like you can't go wrong with an outfit like this it's such a classic love the colors I'm just gonna say for the last time pop it with the coach Madison I just love the color palette so guys, that concludes the first haul of my Spring Fashion Edit 2022. I really hope you enjoyed it. As always, I'm desperate to know which your favorite pieces were and if you treated yourself to anything down below in the comments. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.